dealt with lower back issues ever since I was 18 years old. And uh, they would, my, my back would, I would have severe muscle spasms from time to time. It would typically be a flare up that would, that would last two or three days. I'd have to go on to some sort of a muscle relax and I'd be laying around. They were so severe that there was really nothing I could do. Finally, it got so bad that I found myself laying on the ground for two or three days with severe spasms, knowing that probably I was going to be facing the prospect of surgery. In addition to the lower back issues, I was also dealing with plantar fasciitis. I was doing a lot of running and it was getting progressively worse. I'd had it about two years. I was trying all the typical plantar fasciitis, um, kind of cure, so to speak, and Dr. B said to me, he said, we'll, we'll knock that out. And I was very skeptical about that. It did not, to me, seem like something that could be cured with chiropractic help. My father was a physician, and he had sort of uh, brainwashed me, so to speak, into believing that chiropractors um, or a waste of time. A friend of ours who is a patient of Dr. Benjamin's implored me to come see him when I first came to see him. Very close to the, to the point, according to him, that I had, had I not come to see him, then I was going to be faced with having a microdiscectomy. As I understand it, that the, the sciatic nerves run from the L5 area down into the plantar fascia and so the inflammation that I was having in my L5 was just all flowing down into my plantar fascia and so um, the reason I, I finally realized that he was right was I could I would walk in here some mornings for my appointment and I could hardly walk. I, I, there was a period of time where my, where my plantar fasciitis was so bad I could only wear running shoes to work. And, and I was limping. And I would come in here, he would adjust my L5, and I'd walk out of here with no pain. My plantar fasciitis is completely gone. I've had no issues with it. And quite frankly, I'm just amazed. Because of the problems I was having with my back, I would have probably had to have had back surgery. And in observing others who have been through that type of surgery, oftentimes many years after the surgery, they're in no better shape than they were before the surgery. My, uh, my daughter's also a patient, my, my wife's a patient, and just made a profound difference in our lives and I think one of the things that I love about him so much is he he not only cares about our health he cares about us as people had I not been introduced to Dr. Benjamin had he not been able to help me with, um, with, with the different issues going on in my in my body um, I, I don't know to, to be honest with you I, I the, what my life might look like otherwise would not be something I'd like to contemplate. And, and, and really, at the end of the day, what I can do is just point to myself and say, the only thing that I've changed since I had back issues was I've been coming to Dr. Benjamin to see treatment. I've been seeking no other treatment. I've not been taking medicine. I've not been seeing a physician. I've done nothing else. And, and my back is cured and I have no plantar fasciitis, period. So when I talk to my friends and they, if any of them are skeptics, I say, well, I, I, you, you may be skeptical, I was too. All I can tell you is that I'm not having any problems anymore. And I don't think they just miraculously went away.